Ecom Send Pop-ups, Email Pop-ups, Shopify Tutorial. Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Ecom Send Pop-ups, Email Pop-ups on Shopify. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on Shopify, you could also use my affiliate link below the description where earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is Shopify, it is a comprehensive commerce platform designed to help entrepreneurs and businesses of all sizes establish and grow their online presence, in which it offers a range of features and tools to create a professional storefront, manage sales, and market products effectively. And the platform includes customizable themes which can be reviewed before activation in the theme editor that allows for detailed customization of layout, style, and content. And Shopify's core product includes an online store with customizable templates, tools for selling across multiple channels. And now to use this platform or to sign in, you can simply click the start free trial button on the top right corner or the login button if you already have an account on Shopify. And after signing in, you will be directed on this page right here, in which you will be able to see on the left side panel some of the options that we can start navigating. We have here home, orders, products, customers. But now to proceed, just click this add apps button right here in which on this pop-up window, just scroll down until you click the Shopify App Store. And from here, just search for this application called EcomSend Pop-Ups Email Pop-Ups. And below here, it will show you some of the overview of this application. We have here EcomSend, which channel will grow your email and SMS marketing list with pop-ups to boost your sales. And below, it will show you other features that this platform or application offers. And now to proceed, just click the install button below here then you will be able to be directed on this page. And from here, just click again the install button below here to proceed. And upon installing this application again, you will now be able to be directed on this page. And below here, it will show you the quick setup guide that you also need to complete. And if you scroll down below here, it will show us that the first thing that we need to do is to simply enable the app embed. And in order to do that, just click this enable app embed button right here. Then we will be able to be directed on our online store team. Well, on the left side panel under App Embeds, it will show you that EcomSend pop-up is now been turned on and to save the changes, just click the save button on the top right corner to proceed. And upon saving the changes, the next thing that we need to do is to simply go back on this page right here and proceed by creating a pop-up. And to do that, can you proceed by clicking create a pop-up right here and it will show you that you could also select a template right here and in those options, I'm going to choose this one with a wheel. So kind of proceed by clicking create pop-up button below here to proceed. Then from here, all we need to do is simply customize some of the details including on this template. We have here publish your pop-up by turning on this one right here. It says here that the publish has now been successfully. And as you can see from here under pop-up name, we could also simply change the name of this pop-up. For instance, instead of spin wheel pop-up, I'm going to enter here, lucky spin wheel. And now as you can see here, the changes has now been saved. And under rewards, we could also customize the chances and other details by clicking this edit. From here, it will show us to change the label and also the chances in here. Since the chances in here is 40%, but let's say I'm going to enter here or change this into 30%. While below under discount coupon, I'm going to select here discount code. Well, for the select type, which is percentage of, and the value is 10%. Aside from that, we could also navigate here, there's no luck, and to edit the chance and other details, just click this edit button. And from here, let's say, we're going to change the chance in here by 10%. And after that, for the discount coupon, I'm going to enter or select no discount. Then below here, if we scroll down, we could also edit some other options in here, including the reward tree, reward poor, and many more such as their selected type, their percentage, and other details. Now we've gone under stick discount bar. You could also show this one to look like this on the right side panel. Or you could also don't show this one if you also want to hide it. And now for the sidebar widget to show it, it will show us in here, spin to win. Now below under trigger, we could also trigger the devices such as all devices, desktop, or even just mobile. Well, for the one section right here, I'm going to show on a timer immediately but you could also show after scrolling or exiting the page. For the frequency, you could also navigate this one, page rules, location rules, and other details in here. 
And now aside from rules section, we could also navigate on the top panel in here, this content section, to navigate or customize the start status, the description of our pop-up, the form, required fields, and even the actions in here. Aside from that, under success status, you could also see here the heading for success status and other contexts that contain in a specific button in here. Aside from that, under error text, we could also change this error context such as if the customer enter an invalid info in which they will see an error context in order to correct their answer now under the style from here you could also change the logo width by simply adjusting this one and even add an image if you want to by clicking this add image button to upload the midi files from our computer and aside from that we could also navigate here on the left side panel under style the display such as to change the alignment to center left right change the corner radius and even change some of the colors that this pop-up or wheel contain. So that's just basically under the style section. Now from here on the right side panel, we could also navigate the success status, sticky discount bar, sidebar widget, in order to see what the customer will see if they try to navigate our pop-up. And now after customizing to save the changes, just click the save button on the top right corner, in which upon clicking on it, we will now be able to successfully change or save this template that we just selected. Now going back in here, we could also navigate on the left side panel, the subscribers option by simply clicking on it. From here, it will show us the list of our subscribers, including their actions and other details such as their email status, SMS status, pop-up, more filters, and many more. And also their email address, phone number, location, and subscription date, in which this option helps merchants grow their email and SMS marketing list by allowing customers to opt in or spin the wheel pop-ups. Moving on, if you already have a concern, just click this get help button in which from here it will show you some of the help center that you could also click such as get email support, start live chat, and even help docs to help you resolve your issues that you're experiencing on this application. And now for the recommendation, from here it will show you a lot of application that you could also integrate with this platform or application in which these interactive elements encourage visitors to sign up for the marketing list, increasing conversions, and subscriber numbers. Now aside from that, going back in our dashboard of Ecom Send pop-ups, from here if we scroll down, we will be able to see here some other data including pop-up views, the number of subscribers, conversion rate, and other graphical representation in here. We also have here frequently asked question and also help center. And now to see what our pop-up looks like when a customer tries to visit our online store, just proceed by clicking online store and under teams, just click this customize button right here. And upon clicking on it, we will now be able to see here what our pop-up looks like when a customer tries to visit our online store. And if you also want to customize some other elements, you could also do so under this left side panel by simply navigating some of these elements or editing tools that we can find in here. And now overall, that is just basically how you can use e-commerce pop-ups, email pop-ups on Shopify. Thank you.